tell you how you bring people together. I'm at the Yankee game, and yeah. you know, it's Philly and New York. It's Stern City Central, you know. And um, I, uh, everyone, of course, knows I'm a Yankee fan there. And they put me on the big screen. And I, I know you've talked about that before. And, and you know, because I'm on the show, I, feel get like that, a douche I get that kind of treatment, which right. is nice. And they've done that twice now. Right. And people are nice, like they cheer and stuff because they love the show. But it, it lets everybody know you're there. And and then from there on in, the entire game, in the middle of the two innings, I had a, a line of pictures to be taken. <laughs> but a real funny thing happened. The guy sitting behind me was kind of like a Gavon type of guy. And he, oh, yeah, I love you, you know, the whole game. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and he was he was funny, though. Mr. America. When they put him on, when they put us on screen, he goes, they, they saw him, too, and my girlfriend and my uncles. And he goes, dead serious. He goes, he goes that wasn't on television, was it? Oh, my God. Like, he shouldn't be there? I go, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think they put me on TV. I don't know. Maybe it was just for the crowd, you know. And yeah. he goes, he goes, I got some shit going on. That wasn't on television. Oh, <laughs> and I go, I, I go, dude, I can't guarantee you it's it wasn't on television. Yeah, it's not my problem, right. you know. He goes, Like, now he's involved with you. And then he goes, because I know you fucked with that Joe Buck asshole, because maybe they want him to talk about you. He goes, you don't gonna. You know, he goes, you know what? I like. Trying to watch the game. He goes, I like you, and now you're fucking me up. Wow. Right? <laughs> okay, you're right. I'm trying to watch the game. It was like ten dollar hot chocolate, by the way, Howard. Wow. A hot yeah. chocolate is ten dollars. When I went to the World Series with my father in '77, I still have the stubs, the tickets for ten bucks. Wow. Yeah. So I bought it, and it wasn't even hot. The guy had it up in the air. No one would buy it for two hours, and $10. I bought it. Ten dollars for a hot chocolate, and you can't bring a thermos with you, can you? They check everything. Adrian had a bag. They went through it like <clears throat> she was Bin Laden. Like wow. You, you said that about Beth. You know, they just check everything. Right. And um, it, it you know again, thanks fucking Bin Laden. It takes two hours to get into a Yankee game now. Right. Right. And uh, you know, it, it, it uh, if the Yankee, the point is. If a and when you pay the ten dollars for a hot chocolate, you get more mad when a rod doesn't do good because he's making twenty five million a year. So right. you start screaming, "What the fuck? Ten bucks for a hot chocolate? Hit the ball, feel the ball, you right. asshole!" You get angry. That's where I get like Will. I'm like Will. I can't give him shit. Right. When I used to drink, I would yell <laughs> the worst shit. I got kicked out of Yankee Stadium. I'm a Yankee fan. And he's got <laughs> season tickets. What were you doing? Oh God, what was I doing? What wasn't I doing? Right. You, Gary's been to a game with me before, but but I. I what does I, he do? Uh, that's all. He, he's he. We're his, his old seats were about six rows back of the third base of third base. Yeah. So the third base coach, you, you, if you you know you could throw a piece of paper and hit the guy. So Artie starts to obsess on the third base coach, at what he looks like, what he's wearing, his shape and size. So he starts to yell at the guy, yell at him, yell at him, yell at him, yell. At him. The day we were there, there was a guy who was, you know those old guys? You know, first of all, they have to wear baseball uniforms. They're like 70-year-old right. men in baseball uniforms. Which no other sport does, by the way. Like, like, like Andy Reid doesn't have to wear an Eagles uniform. Right, right. So, so the guy was one of those old guys. He, the guy had, he had no butt. Right, yeah, the, right. the pants so, just were, looked like they, they just went down. So I don't know, they, I can't remember, the guy's name was Johnson or something. Artie's on his 12th double. You know, yeah, I was drinking back then. Yeah, I mean, you know, he walks he walks into the bar. There's a bar outside of Yankee Stadium that everybody goes to, legendary called Stans. We walk into Stans. Artie has six shots of Jack shoved into his hand before he can blink. We right. get out of there. We go to the game. They come around. Artie says, "Give me four doubles. That's just for him. A four doubles of Jack because he'll never come back. Never come. So he orders four doubles." <laughs> Then Artie gets up to go to the bathroom. Maybe it'd be nice to have a little breather between Wait, Jack's, you know, and Jack's. Yeah, how, how, some water. How, yeah, right. okay. Artie gets up to go to the bathroom. They come back again for drinks, and I feel, well, Artie, bought, you know, gave me the ticket. So I said, bring me four doubles. Artie comes back from the bathroom with four doubles. And I said, well, I ordered four doubles. He goes, great. Great. <laughs> now I'm all set. So now Artie has now had $12 five, drinks. He's had five shots at stands and 12 doubles. So that's wow. 29 shots. Wow. Jeez. So wow. okay, what so now constitution on you. <laughs> so now he's working up. He's watching the game, and I how's say, he awake to yell <laughs> anything? I have a better constitution than America. <laughs> so I, I, you drunk off your ass after that? You have this to. This is what, I got drunk, yeah. and what Gary? The, the funny drunk. thing is, first he of all, be, he should be in the hospital. Yeah, that's he should the time. be in first, a coma. First yeah. of all, all the third base coaches have dumpy asses because they're all right. old guys. And, right. and my friends, this is a famous story of my friends. And <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying this is funny, but when you're drunk with your friends, and this is funny. <laughs> so the third base coach, the Yankees are killing this team right and he just does he looks miserable he's probably making no money he's on the road real dumpy ass and his last name was ludoff okay so i'm ossified by the sixth inning now because my seats are four rows behind third he can hear everything i'm saying so i start going Ludolf, the third base coach, had a very dumpy ass. <laughs> and, he, 
<laughs> and that's all they kept saying was that verse yeah, of Rudolph yeah, yeah. the Red <laughs> They threw you out for that? We were throwing up laughing because we were drunk. Right. And then so so Mike kept saying, Rudolph has a dumpy ass. And, uh, and, and uh, the guy the guy came over and said, you have to, you, listen, I, you know, Ludolf. you're a Yankee fan. Ludolf. No, 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 no. Usher. Oh, Usher. okay. You can't say dumpy ass as kids here. Right. And again, when I was a kid, I remember a guy asking me to, to hold uh, his beer while he rolled a joint. You know, times are different. Yeah, but I do remember going to games with my dad, and, and they would be drunk There's guys. Sitting next to Artie? And, and it scared, no, but it, but it scared me. You know, well, I remember it was yeah. scary because there were old guys, like, they smelled like liquor and they were just, like, getting crazy. I <laughs> yeah, well, that's that what thing. the usher is trying to, yeah. to do. Get this... Mm. Did you Very say to the scary usher, man to quiet down. Did you say to the usher, can I sing Ludolf has a dumpy butt? <laughs> well, because because every time, well, um, the, the f one one of my friends, the, the funniest and rudest thing I've ever seen before is a plane of Blue Jays about 1982. It's a it's a, a man with his 16 year old daughter and his 10 year old son. Now, the son has a little Blue Jay shirt on mm -hmm. this upper deck at Yankee Stadium uh, and, and, a, and a ball and a, a glove to catch a ball, which will never come to us. Right. And um, and uh, so the Blue Jays score a run. And my friend is such he's like Will and me. Yeah, we, we all had bets on the game. And he's fucking pissed off because the Blue Jays go ahead by two runs. The kids going, yay, yay, yay. And he's sitting next to his 16 year old sister. And his <laughs> my buddy goes, he goes, a, a Blue Jay kid. That's what he called him. <laughs> <laughs> He goes, hey, Blue Jay kid. And finally the kid turns around and they're like, yeah, he's like, with well, <laughs> my buddy. I can't even. What did he say? My buddy. <laughs> Your buddy. I fucked your sister last night. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> It was. She was 16, did I think. I don't know. She was, she was an adult. I she hope was they a, threw you out. The father hears it. Oh, boy. So now he turns around and goes, what the fuck did you just say? What the fuck? <laughs> my buddy goes, I said I fucked your daughter last night. Oh, and, my and, uh, God. The, 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 so, so now it was our fault. Yeah. You uh, think? Really? <laughs> and and, and so, so the guy swings, me and my two buddies swing, and then... Uh, I, we got thrown out. Well, yeah. But, yeah, no, that should happen. Wow. That, that was bad. That's bad. Uh, I, she Somebody could've... said that to one of your kids? You'd fucking oh, no, oh, believe me, I would. You don't I, even have kids and you would go nuts. I saw my own, I saw, again, the stuff you see your father do. I saw my father, a guy threw a beer bottle at me once. Wow. And I saw my father, you talk about therapy, I saw my father pull a guy through his car window. <laughs> and, and, like, literally, like... Well, he's like, right. The, the, guy, we, we, the guy cut us off, and my old man, uh, uh, we were coming back from sleigh ride. And I'll never forget it. We're like, one of those $3 sleds <laughs> going down a main drag. And um, these, it was like 1978, so they, they all looked like they were in the Eagles or something. Mm -hmm. And they threw a Bud bottle at me wow. and said, fuck you. And my father fucking just chased them, cut them off ran and 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 punched through the window <laughs> broke the glass of the window so there you go and pulled the kid out of, i didn't say it my friend said it i would never say that to i really would never say right. that to a kid but um you he know protected you so I, I, the, the dad was right he went and he stuck up for his daughter the third base uh, <laughs> right. the third base college the third base coaches caught a lot of there was one guy called kim who was an asian guy yeah he was a Red Sox third base coach, and he was about two foot eight. Okay, right. And we kept calling him Little Kim, <laughs> 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 and doing all stupid jokes wow. like, "Hey Kim," and like, and every time we go, "Hey Little Kim," and then he would finally look at us, and we yeah. go, "How does it feel to know to be the last guy to know a drain?" And ah, <laughs> every dumb short joke. So anyway, ever. you went to the. Where, what was they asking? Gary you? was with me at the game, and we fucking... Right. Yeah. Hey, through. can I just say one thing about A-Rod? Um, you know, he's supposed to be the classiest guy in the world, you know, Armani suits and everything. I'm watching the game Saturday night. They put the camera on him. He's at third base. He punches a glove. He did the grossest thing. He takes his finger, uh, and he presses it against one nostril, and he blows the yeah. biggest snot rocket I've I ever saw seen. That. I was watching the game at that yeah, point. Yeah, what is going on inside him? He's <laughs> always goobering and clamming. He's a twitchy and kind of dude. But, yes. I mean, it was like it was almost like they said, you know, we're going to put the camera in. He had no idea. <laughs> put, hold that nostril down, and a snot goes like 10 feet. Uh -huh.